Eh, bueno, eh, que haya otra generación de guitarreros en la familia supone eh, algo importante ¿no? para, para nosotros, para mí concretamente, porque dentro de que la, llevamos 100 años haciendo guitarras, yo soy el tercer paso generacional, el que haya otro paso generacional, un, generacional, un cuarto paso, eh, yo creo que, que, es, que es creativo, ¿no? es bonito. Cuando you come from a family of guitar makers, like a whole family, you have seen guitars and the culture of the guitar since you are really young. I don't really feel like I made one decision one day. I woke up and I say like, I want to be a guitar maker. It's something that began to build on me, you know. I started liking it and I started playing the guitar at first, a little bit. In summer, I decided to go to to work with my father and I learned like um, our old tradition. I was like, I thought that after all these years and a huge history. I had to try it at least. I had to go there. I like the guitar, I had everything. And I said like, okay, let's go for it. I kept going when I had free time after school. After a while, like, I just decided to stay and, and live from the guitar and make guitars as a life, in a life basis. For me, it was uh, a little bit different. I was studying psychology, and my brother started to to work in the workshop. And my father asked me if I wanted to to do it as well. And at first, I wasn't so convinced about that. But um, suddenly, I started to go to a workshop after class, and I just felt like it was the place I should be. So I fell in love with the with the woods and the materials and, and all that kind of job that you do with your hands. And I just decided to give up my psychology career and, and stay there. We went to a school that yes. yeah, that was a, a different school in Spain yes. and they teach us how to, to use tools, but not as a luthier or something related to guitars. And afterwards, when we started in the workshop, I think it was pretty easy to, uh, for us to start using that kind of tools. She used to have A's in that, uh, in that class. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I used to have really good marks as well. My main influence is, of course, my father and all of our story. I will say to, to the people that uh, when you have grown in a family, Uh, that have done so many things before you, you have to have respect of what you have, uh, what you have there. You know? Yeah, we, we are always kind of um, trying to reach the conde sound, which is mm -hmm. my father's and my grandfather's. So when we try any guitar that we just made, we are always listening to see if we have the conde sound. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Like I'm also a sociologist, so I feel like uh, when you a study and when you research the culture where you are going to immerse or where you are immersed, like you can understand everything uh, in another way, in a better way. My studies in sociology and my studies in flamenco help me to help me to understand better what I'm going to do, help me to understand better the, the market and the and the people that I'm going to sell the guitars to. This year I decided that it will be nice for me to learn in another workshop, apart from my father's, which is for me the best place to learn. But I decided that it would be nice to, to have other, other views of guitar building. Being a luthier wasn't as known as nowadays, you know. Nowadays you say you're a luthier and they think, oh, that's cool, that's a cool job. But I think back in that time, saying you were a luthier, weren't that cool. Or, it was really you know, just another way to Yeah, yeah. you were an artisan and that was all. And for us, it's quite more than, yeah. Like, you don't, you don't yeah. find many luthiers around. You don't find many luthiers around. Luego, es enriquecedor también, porque ellos tienen una base ya de, de, una, de un trabajo ya realizado de muchísimos años, de tres generaciones por delante de ellos, que les puede servir de, de, de aprendizaje y de, 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 de un trabajo ya realizado por, por generaciones anteriores a ellos. Puede ser muy, muy, muy constructivo para ellos.